Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Lonely One the World, with Tony Korea, and I'm back with Kyrie's music. Period. How are you guys doing? So today, I'm gonna just be showing you all the clinical tools that I have in my medical assistant kit. It's really not much. It's like six tools that we have in our kit. And these kits were supplied by the course that I'm doing. I'm pretty grateful. I didn't have to go and look for my own stethoscope and all these other stuff that we need. So, I mean, I probably still will buy my own, but I do appreciate having like a starter kit, okay? So, let's get right into the video. Okay, so the first thing I have is this tape measure and I'm gonna hurry up and give it back to Kai because he's playing with it right now, but. So we're certified to do head to toe assessments and that counts for babies as well. So we check their head circumference, we check their height and their um, shoulder length as well. The first thing that I don't have in my clinical kit is this. I just keep it around my neck. It's just something you always need, especially when you're doing vitals. It's a pulse oximeter and you just press the button and you stick your finger in. It lets you know your oxygen saturation and your arterial blood and then it also lets you know your heart rate. And mine is kind of weird. One minute it's high, the next minute it's low. Like if I'm laying down, it's like, dead low like 40 something and I don't know if this thing thinks I'm an athlete but it's weird but I might just be a Brady cardiac how do you say it I might just have I might just have Brady cardiac next thing that I have in my kit and uh, it's just so crammed up in this kit to be honest the next thing I have is my stethoscope it's just a simple black stethoscope um yeah and then you just turn it around and you'll hear it from the other side. Of course, if you're doing like a manual blood pressure, you'd use your stethoscope. If you want to check the heart, if you want to check a patient's heartbeat, heart sounds, go right ahead. Have the equipment, why not use it? Um, next thing I have is my blood pressure cup. And y'all, I have a funny story on this, right? The first time that I used this, and I only used this once, I was rotating in physical therapy and the lady, she was like, no, my pressure can't be this high, my pressure can't be this high. Do it manually. So I was like, oh gosh. And y'all, this is the first time I'm doing this in class. I don't know why, but I should have been practicing. But I, I, I got it right. And I basically got the same blood pressure reading that she got on the automatic machine. I'm a cheek. I'm a cheek. I'm a cheek. <laughs> Definitely gonna keep practicing um, manual blood pressure because people do ask like when they doubt in their pressure being too high or too low, they be like, I need you to do this manually like now. <laughs> Next thing I have is these scissors. Don't ask me what I'm gonna do with this. I'm assuming like if I have to take out sutures, I'd use this, but I mean, I think that I'd use sterile scissors or, actually, or like, I don't know. I probably just have to clean it. I don't know, y'all. Um, thing I have is a thermometer and you just press it, comes on. Y'all, when Kai was sick, he had like a temperature so every couple hours, he'd take this out of my kit and he'd bring it to me so I could check his temperature. <laughs> it was so funny. And last but not least is just a pen light. Of course, like I said earlier, we're certified to do head to toe assessments. So check their eyes, make sure it's dilating. And people is reacting to light, it's accommodating. So yeah, pretty much that's all I have in my kit. You'd wanna have a pen, you wanna have a little notepad. I always have my little green notepad with me. I don't know where I have it now, but you know, if you have some new words or phrases in the hospital, you just wanna write them down and go over them if you don't know what they are. Cause like when I was doing my internship, they were intubating a patient and that was my first time ever seeing someone being intubated. So I was nervous and I was like, what is going on, what's going on? So I was writing down everything and when I went home, I looked it up and I was like, okay, this is exactly what they're doing and how they're doing it. Thank you all for watching this video. Please remember to subscribe and share my channel. I thank you all so much and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.